What I love about humanities and Italian studies is that your work is to question the bottom line. Why is that there? Why are we doing it this way? I'm Italian and Italian-American because my mother is an Italian-American and my father is an Italian. Growing up in the United States, I was always longing for like Italian culture. I wanted to be able to speak it well, to engage with my family over there. And it was my second home. The master's is a project-based degree. I was really interested in the experiences of the G2, which is a second generation immigrant. So you're born in Italy on the territory, but your parents are immigrants or they're not Italian. My thesis looks at the school as a space of social interaction, after school as a space of social interaction, and online as a space of social interaction. I'm super interested in teenagers because I have experience teaching. It's a great subject when you're working with people who are learning how to interact with each other and engage in the world. Acknowledging the fact that kids are not just socialized at school, they're not just socialized after school, and they're not just socialized online. All these things kind of blur. How does social media change the way people interact with each other? Does it change the way? How about the way the school system is set up? What are the benefits of being a citizen in the country where you're living? How do we define citizenship? How do we define what Italian is in a globalized context? Why do people move? How do they move? How do we define community with new people? What does it mean to integrate? What does it mean to segregate? What does it mean to be Italian? How do people stay connected? How are networks formed in a globalized society? 